for God Alone. That's the title of a class series we're doing in the Thames Valley Churches of Christ through the month of August 2018. And we're looking at quiet times and our motivation for them and what they are, how to sustain them, how to get the most out of them, to help us in our walk with God. Now, as well as the four Friday classes, the Sunday sermon on the 5th of August, which I'll be preaching at our venue in Lower Early, will be based on the same themes taken from Psalm 62. Now, I don't have time to read that all again here, although it has been read several times in different translations in earlier podcasts, so you might like to go back and listen to those because they're very creative, some of those alternative translations. But I do have a couple of thoughts for today and tomorrow on the structure of the psalm that might be helpful as we then come and listen to the sermon on Sunday. So the first is this. One possible outline for Psalm 62 is a four-part, no, five-part outline with the first and fifth parts being a reprise, a, a coming back to the same theme. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, the first part of the psalm, we have confidence expressed in God. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. He's my rock, my salvation, my fortress. I will never be shaken. So confidence is expressed in God, and that's a good way to begin a prayer time. But then we have an acknowledgement that humankind are unreliable. He talks about people assaulting him, the psalmist here, about him being, uh, they're attempting to throw him down, to push down this tottering fence, this leaning wall, that he knows that these people intend to topple him from his lofty place. These people take delight in lies that are unreliable with the truth. They bless with their mouths, but in their hearts they curse, they're unreliable in their honesty. So we have confidence in God followed by the unreliability of humankind. And then again, but the Lord is my salvation. Oh, my soul, find rest in God. Yes, uh, a reaffirmation that God is the rock and salvation. And then an exhortation to trust God, not human beings. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him. God is our refuge. The lowborn are a breath, the highborn a lie. If weighed on a balance, they're nothing, like a breath. Don't, don't trust in extortion, vain hope in glo- stolen goods. Though your riches increase, don't set your heart on them. Don't trust in the things of this world and on humankind. Trust only in God. And then finally, an, a re-expression, a reaffirmation of confidence in God. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love. You reward everyone according to what they have done. And so we have this psalmist finishing on understanding that he can trust God even if he cannot trust those around him. Well, that's one possible structure to the psalm. Confidence in God. Human beings are unreliable. The Lord is our salvation. Don't trust in man, but trust in God. And then reaffirmation of the confidence uh, that we can have in God. What do you think of that structure? And can you see another one, an alternative one? I'd be fascinated to know if you do. Well, I do hope you're enjoying the class series. By the time you hear this, the Friday night class will have gone online, the first one, and you can give feedback on that or any other questions you have about quiet times. Do drop me a line and let me know. Until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and God bless.